Hi everyone, today we're gonna talk about crochet. So crochet is a process in which you create a fabric using a crochet hook and a yarn. A crochet hook can be made in materials such as metal, wood, plastic, bamboo, aluminum, and bones. So the name crochet was derived from the French term meaning small hook. The earliest record of crochet was on the book called The Memoirs of Highland Lady. It is a book written by Elizabeth Grant. It was the most famous uh, memoirs ever written. It was originally intended only for her family and it was published in 1824. It is considered to be culturally important since it describes a lot of way of living back then. In 1842, books discussing crochet started to appear. In the 19th century, during the Great Irish Famine, um, on the 1845 to 1849, they started producing crocheted lace as an alternative way of making money. So that is when the schools are started teaching crochet. So they, they train their teachers and then send them to different areas all over um, Irish to teach the crochet on their students. So when the Irish migrated here in America, the crochet was introduced here in the US. So there are two basic material in crocheting. One is the crochet hook, the other one is the yarn. So crochet hook comes in many sizes for the purpose of creating a certain size of stitches. It's also instructed in a pattern given to you when you're making some project. And as I mentioned earlier, it comes in different materials such as aluminum, plastic, bamboo, wood, metal, and bone. Yarns, on the other hand, were sold in stores, usually in skins, in balls. It's labeled with important information such as weight, length, dye lot, fiber content, washing instruction, and etc. Crafts are usually save those band who comes with information with for future references whenever they run out of material or yarn. According to Merriam Webster's, the word yarn comes from Middle English, from the Old English kern, akin to Old High German's garn yarn, Greek cordy string, and Sanskrit hiraband. Asian continent is considered to be number one exporter of cotton, which is the yarn mostly made of. However, China in particular is the number one exporter of yarn. There are five main types of basic stitches in crochet. Number one is the chain stitch. This is the most basic stitch used most for the beginning of the project, except when you're making the magic circle like when you're making a hexagon or something like that. Well, there is also a process we could you just chain five or something like that. But then usually when you're making magic circle, you skip the chain stitch. And then the other one is the slip stitch, which is used to join when you're making a ring. The third one is the single crochet. It's the easiest stitch. It's the first stitch that a crochet beginner when they're beginning to learn that's the first stitch they learn and the fourth one is the hdc or half double crochet which is taller than single crochet but shorter than double crochet and the fifth basic stitches on crochet is the double crochet which is mostly used to make complex stitch pattern such as crocodile stitch, shell, and many other stitch. So crochet terminology vary by country. They usually refer the difference to UK or US or um, British or American. 
example for the terminology and difference between US and UK is on the US, single crochet is called double crochet stitch in the UK. The half double crochet here in the US, it's called half triple crochet in the UK. So double crochet, for example, here in the US, it's called triple stitch in the UK. They also differ in crochet hook sizes. So here in the US, the crochet name H or size number 8. In UK, it's going to be size 6. Here in the US, when a crochet is called I or size 9, it's five. It's size 5 in the UK. And here in the US also, when, when the crochet hook is called J or size 10, it's going to be size 4 in the UK. And that's all for crochet. And I hope you find this interesting. Bye-bye.